Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live, and in effect, it is a Tuesday night, and we are here reporting live, as I said before, and it is live from behind my microphonic plastic Greetings. device. My plastic microphonic device. Very, very good. All right. Nice to see all of you here, mainly just Benny Barker, because he's the only one that's here right now. Benny, good to see you, sir. Just you and me for a few more minutes, maybe, or seconds, or something like that. All right, Ed Sterling Cannabis is here. Good to see you now. We're not alone, Benny. We've got company with us now. Good to see you guys. We're going to get down here to the bottom of the... We're, getting, we're going to get to the bottom of this chat here. Let me get my boilerplate here. Then I get the boilerplate. Where is it at? Grab it and pull you back up again. All right, a little bit behind here this, today. And bear with me as I try to find my way back. All right. One push-up for every minute tardy. That's right, exactly. How how late are we? Well, two minutes. We got here a minute ago, so I've got to do two push-ups. That's right. Two push-ups for sure. Good to see Bob S. here. Uh, light crowd so far, but that's all right. We'll make a way back. Let's get back into the maelstrom of madness here. Let's see here, get to the bottom of things where we can report on some comments here. Hope everybody is having a good work week so far. That is if you do work the normal, uh, you know, Monday through Friday schedule, schedule as they say. All right, let's get down the nitty gritty here. Matt has been here since 12 a.m. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, Brian is here. Good to see you. And T, the Silver Stackers here. Welcome salivating this metal price yes indeed yeah where the they're down a little bit they're down for sure even rhodium is down now and down pretty substantially silver is uh just above 25 dollars gold is down 11 dollars and 90 cents so yeah good time to to buy i watched uh christopher mullen uh technical analyst talked about that on a kitco interview the other day said that we may see lower prices for a little bit and then it'll go back up all right present but can't stay the Rosamanaza. good to see the Rosamanaza. welcome my friend glad you're here mrs coin crew hello mrs coin crew welcome i'm glad you're here welcome indeed and who else we have live free and dig all right miyoshi bullion whoa Thank you so much. Right out of the starting gate, Miyoshi is awesome. Thank you so much for that. $10 super chat. Woohoo! You are awesome, Miyoshi. Thank you so much for that. Check out her channel, Miyoshi Bullion. She does really cool, clever unboxings. She has got herself a nice studio set up there, too. A very, very cool, nice and happy and positive. She's great, Miyoshi Bullion. Thank you so much for that. All right. Hello, Coinhound. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Coinhound posted another great video uh, showcasing some uh, new or revitalized uh, buffalo designs on his channel. All right. Another $3 trillion in spending. Crazy, crazy. I know. Uh, none. Don't get bored of the metals. Um, it's going to come around eventually. You just got to hang in there. That's part of it. Patience. It, you need some testicular fortitude. And... It's a little bit of furtive too, too, if you have some kitties. Love button is here. Good to see you. Over here. Uh, what the hell stinks so bad over here? Not over here. Not over there. Doug Bug is here. Good to see you. All right. So let's get into some of these comments here. Northern Hillbilly says, even my silver place must have ran out because they've been closed over a week now. Wow. Yeah. And that's just it. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff happening with the uh, markets for sure. And uh, with supply chain disruption still to this day. Miyoshi Bullion has just become an honorary citizen. I am honored and humbled. Thank you, Miyoshi. Wow, very kind of you. So Miyoshi is now uh, an honorary citizen of the Salivation Nation. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. Very, very cool. Son of a Silver Stacker is here. No problem, my friend. Son of a Silver Stacker is always... Uh, up to speed, or right on the on the uh, button with the uh, with the U.S. Mint news and and reports and the like. And uh, yes, indeed, I used to be the guy that was doing that. <laughs> There's just so much other stuff out there. It's a, 
keep up with the news. It's hard to keep up with it all. But yeah, kudos to you, my friend. You've got a great channel. Nice and growing. Coins A to Z, hello to you, my friend. All right. Oh, Miyoshi, thank you so much for the three kisses. I wish I could come give you a big old hug. You are awesome, Miyoshi. Thank you so much. You guys definitely check her out. Uh, she's an amazing lady. Um, got a great channel for sure. Appreciate her so much. Klonic Stacker, please rate the Swedish metal band Entombed. They are really good. Big fan of Wolverine Blues and uh, Left Hand Path. Those are my two favorite Entombed albums. Uh, the singer, I forget his name, but he recently passed away a couple weeks ago. May he rest in peace. Um, yes, indeed, Entombed. There was one song, I forget the name of it, but it had a really cool dark ending to it. A really cool instrumental, but yeah, good stuff, Entombed. Swedish, uh, uh, I don't know if you could call them death metal band, but they were they were good. They were, they were pretty heavy, pretty heavy stuff. King Huang Tai says, check out the Perthnet website. You cannot buy silver bars now. That's right. That's because they're they're concentrating. As they said in their press release, they are taking the processing. They, uh, uh, they're doing coins only. No bars right now. That's right. Kind of mentioned that in the interviews. Gas Grill. Whoa. It's so cool. Thank you, Gas Grill. Gas Grill has become an honorary citizen now. Man, thank you so much, Gas Grill, all the way from the United Kingdom. Very kind of you, sir. All right. Hello, Hell Creek Trading. Good to see you. And Coins A to Z is exactly right. Sal's gals do make the Salivate Metal Channel great again, uh, for sure. Well, actually, I would differ with Coins A to Z only slightly. They make it great in the first place. I don't. It probably wasn't great before they came around. Um, you know what I mean? It was probably just average. So the channel never was great, but it is only great now because of the Sal's gals. And I would uh, make um, Miyoshi uh, a Sal's gal too. She's awesome. If she would ever want to be a Sal's gal. Yes, indeed. I would say Love Button could be a Sal's gal too, but we need proof of, uh, proof of concept for that one. You know what I'm saying? All right. Hello, people of Earth, Earth, says Michael Phillip. Good to see you. All right. And Persian Stacker says, shortage, likely not truly in the sense we are thinking. Bottleneck for sure. That's right. Bank cements have to cover the shorts. Silver will always be manipulated as long as there is such a thing as commodity trading and unallocated purchases. Nothing new. Any commodity is used in production that gets squeezed while goes with bottleneck delivery issues. We'll always continue to stack no matter which bank is tied to what company or person. Let them play their games and money grubbing all day long. I don't care. I will just protect what I have as much as I can. That's exactly right. And Persian Stacker, I agree. And again, I'm, I'm with you on the manipulation thing. I think there's a micro manipulation from within organizations and, and, and any normal thing that you would see with any commodity <clears throat> that's shorted and the like. But yes, indeed. But in the end, we're all... Um, uh, doing the same thing by um, becoming independent from the banks, from the institutions, by holding silver. Very good. And Justin Sartain identifies as a 1996 gold one-ounce eagle. All right. Very good. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, man, uh, Silversmith wanted to cry over losing two bucks in silver prices today. Yes, I know. I hear you. It's crazy. Man. Uh, Brits, maples, and kangaroos for 30 bucks over at Monument Metals. Very cool. Freedom Stacker is here. Hello, Freedom Stacker. Good to see Freedom Stacker. Hope you're doing well. Jamie Foxx is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. And Mark White says, I love the idea of being my own bank with precious metal and cash reserves. Me too. It really is. It's something. You know what I mean? And it's great to be able to have it in your possession. You can play with it, you can hold it, you can touch it, you can enjoy it, and you can talk about it with experience. All right, there you go. The Curdy Cake says, there is no shortage of fiat at the Fed, that's for sure. You got that right. They're printing it like it's going out of style. Very good. All right. All right. Peter Grace is here. Good to see Peter Grace. Strong man, encouraging us to stay strong. Knows Maddox, knows his stuff. There you go. And this is on the... Um, the Krista McAuliffe dollar that I unboxed uh, video today. Dirk Kong says she was public publicity cargo and got blown up. 
Why is she a hero? <clears throat> well, I would say, I would say that it was even at that time it was risky to go to space. They had kind of perfected it uh, for a while, but uh, but there was obviously still risk, and obviously she paid the ultimate price. But I think, um, in a sense, she did service the country. I would consider her a hero. She went through all the training. She did all the rigors. Um, but I just think that the coin should have probably honored all or memorialized all of them equally. Um, they each had their own part to play uh, and was equally as important. Silver Honda made it to the video, but he wasn't first, but that's okay. I'm glad he's here. Donald is here. I'm going to see Donald. Um, those sound like clad coins, says Native. Yeah, believe it or not, they are silver. All right, very good. Good to see Native Stacker. And Pyro Squad says retired pawnbroker have been stacking since $2.50 an ounce. Wow. That is amazing. <whistles> yes, that's a long time to be stacking. Man. That's probably what? 40, 40 years of stacking? Maybe more? 40, 50 years? They're calm. And God we trust looks like an afterthought. Yeah. Yeah, it's small on there. And Gold Chick says, You should be on a coin. Sipping on a cup of joe with Kitty or a Ronnie Van Zant coin. No age judgments, but brothers played them constantly. He died the same way. Wow. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother, Gold Chick, but you're very kind. Yes, a Ronnie Van Zant coin. Be cool. So it looks like Gold Chick's brother died in a plane accident. Man, that's awful. I'm sorry. Uh, the Pirate Squad is here. 40 years. Okay, I was right. About 40 years. Very good. Silver stroking. I'm silver slurping here. That's what we do here. <clears throat> Stacking points are very strange indeed, brother. All right. Strange days indeed. All right. Okay. Hello, Barbara Carbone. Happy Ruby Tuesday. Good to see you. We're doing groovy here. Yes, indeed. Groovy, groovy. All right. Glad you're here, Barbara. Mark, Michael Martin says, I believe all the astronauts had, a, had identical twins now working in plumb positions. Imagine that. I know. Look it up. It's a real thing. All twins that missed their twins' funeral. All right. Yeah, I know some people have some interesting thoughts about some of this stuff, but anyways. All right, political indeed. I have not been a fan of most of these offerings. Thanks, Sal. Yep. Crazy, crazy. And destroy the like button. Thank you so much, Coin Collecting Fund. Those thumbs up do help the metrics. Yes, indeed. All right. All is one now is here. Very good. Coins A to Z says Barbara Carbo makes this elemental channel great again. That's right. She sure does. And BR Williams is here. Polo Pony is with us as well. I think it's cool that the guy who was a pawnbroker for 40 years is here, Pyro. Uh, let's see, I think, yeah, Pyro Squad. That's pretty cool. Welcome. Glad you're here. Mark Medlin says the piece will go, will go good in your collection of commemoratives. Yes, it must. No matter how ugly it, I mean, it's not a bad looking coin. Don't get me wrong. Better than the Eunice Shriver coin. The Eunice Shriver coin was a monstrosity of all things. It's my ugliest coin. Other than the stormy, uh, whatever the stormy round was I uh, had that um, some time ago. Corey Face, uh, Fies, so since I'm a diehard Alien fan, I'm going to call this the Ellen Ripley coin. Ah, yes, it does kind of look like Ellen Ripley. Yes, Corey, good eye on that one. Which is Sigourney Weaver, by the way. A little Sigourney Weaver-ish on that. I thought it should look familiar. Um, DB wants to know when the U.S. Mint will start selling NFT coins. Yeah, they'll put farts on coins and sell them. Uh, not fungible, non-fungible tokens is what that means. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I tell you what, that's the next best thing, right? All right, here's a slurp for Barb. We need to make it happen. Stormy Diamonds round. Yeah, Stormy Daniels too. There's a slurp for Barbara. And Jeff Shaw says they make too many of these type of coins. Well, they're restricted by law for two programs per year. 
but they've got around it with the loopholes in the last few years here for some stuff. It's crazy. All right. Yeah, the Columbus $5 gold coin was great in 92. I agree. I also like the 2015 Marshalls coin. I think that's a pretty nice one as well. All right. Uh, Jack Daniel says, I found a couple of melted metal blobs on the beach in Fort Pierce, Florida 25 years ago. I bought them to brought them to a small museum in Sebastian and was told they were titanium from the Challenger. He said other people have brought the same have brought the same thing and someone from the Kennedy Space Center confirmed that they were. Wow. Interesting. Man, Jack Daniel found actual pieces from the shuttle. Man. Wow. That's fascinating, Jack Daniel. Thanks for sharing that with us. Nasty fart tokens. That's right. MS Schroeder. Now, now that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. NFT is a sign we're getting close to the edge. I heard about a tweet that was sold for a high dollar, a fart that was sold for a high dollar. Crazy. Um, yeah, Pyro Squad got in this when silver was at $2.50 an ounce, and his goal was to wait until it got to $50 an ounce. And he, it came so close, and I assume he didn't sell then. That's pretty amazing. Hello, human. Good to see you. Uh, B.R. Williams, my LCS had constitutional uh, for $1 over spot. Is that per ounce? It's pretty good. I'd say that's a pretty good deal in this day and age. <clears throat> Silver Wolverine, like 21. Thank you, Silver Wolverine. That's a great video today. What were premiums like in the 90s? Um, they were higher than you think. Uh, I think Silver Eagles were like like nine ten dollars and silver was trading at like five six dollars four or five six if i remember correctly some during that time because the manufacturing costs and stuff like that bite the stars there you go dude dave let's bite them bite those stars silver stacking mama is here She's a lovely South gal, too, going to be on the calendar. She says, hello, hello, everybody, coming in while cooking some bacon and eggs. Ooh, some breakfast. In the, I love breakfast at night. I need to come up there in Canada and have some, have some dinner with Silver Stack and Mama and her hubby and her, and her uh, young child. And uh, she thinks she's with child again. So, man, a growing family. That's awesome. Sounds delicious. Scott Kahala says, I'm a fan of this coin, but you're right. The crew members all deserve to be recognized as well. Thanks for sharing the information. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Kitten is a black belt. Sends greetings on this video and the other video on <clears throat> the, what can, the currency collapse, the Turkish lira collapsing. All right. And let's see here, where are we at? We've got um, Timothy Harder says, McAuliffe still living, fake NASA explosion where no one died. Well, sorry, Timothy. Hate to break the news to you, but she has very much passed away, unfortunately. It's amazing what some of the... It's just amazing some people actually believe. I mean, some of the things some people believe. I mean, they really do believe it. They think... They think these shootings are fake. They think that shuttle was fake. They think the, I mean, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy. Grow mechanic is here. Good to see you. Tiomkin is back. All right. Good to see Tiomkin. All right. Welcome. 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 Um, the Barbara Bush coin is pure crap. All right. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Hey, I think Barbara Bush is still alive. You know what I mean? And and so is uh. George H.W. Bush, right? Might as well. I mean, everybody's still alive. No one has died. Oh, French toast with homemade sourdough. That sounds delicious. Very good. CCT is here. Tim Goodson is here. There's some um, gorillas there. Silverback gorillas. Yes, indeed. All right. The world is a stage. That's right. All is one now. Um, assault weapons are full automatic. Actually, you know what? Assault weapons is a misnomer. I've never had one gun jump up and attack me. 
It's never happened. I've never put salt on any gun that I've owned either. Um, never ever happened. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. Automatic or semi-automatic or single shot or even a flintlock. Sterling cannabis. Some people believe you do real push-ups. That's right. Can you believe that? Some people actually believe I, I do real push-ups. Uh, is Venezuela on their fifth currency reset? Um, Miyoshi. Um, I know they have uh, have printed higher notes for their bills, but I don't know that they've done another reset. Uh, but uh, they, I know they've printed some new notes that so they very well could have. Um, we don't hear much in the news about Venezuela these days. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, interesting. I have to look into that. All right. Let's see. Okay, Slava Key says, I would say it's ugly coin design. Hi, Sal. Yes. All right, Slava is not a fan of it. You haven't seen the Unis Shriver coin. That one is really ugly. Down in New Mexico, where's the Salty Eagle? It is uh, out of my purview right now. Uh, when I do this, when I actually show that um, Salty Eagle that I did, I'm going to show it, and we're going to look at it together. And we're going to look at the at the Salty Eagle together. I will not have seen it before you. We'll look at it together on camera when I do it, probably in some time during the summer, but I might wait a year because I think it's not going to, I predict that it's not going to do much. Even though I looked at the actual container, and the water did never dro dried up in there. It never dried up. Guns don't kill people. Governments sure do. Good to see you. It's all good. Welcome. It's all good. Silver Heist, good to see you, sir. Um, uh, I've not responded to your email yet. Maybe I'll do that now since I have my device up here. Let's see here. But i got to find out how to find it on this thing. I don't know. I don't. I gotta figure. I don't need to figure out what it is. Um. Well, I have to look that up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Silver heist. One of these days, I will. Let's see here. All right. Let's see here. Let's get back here to the comments. Gringo says, Sal, I pass on this coin as, as I'm trying to avoid buying premium coins, but you're also old enough to remember. What a lousy day that was when half the country was watching that shuttle launch live and it went sideways. It does look like her, complete with the 80s hairstyle, but compared to coins minted 100 years ago, the artwork on coins seems to have regressed. Certainly cannot be considered classical art by any means. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it really is, um, it's, I don't know. It, I can understand why people say that because it's a completely different theme, but the detail is, is just as good, I think. For some of that stuff but yeah i mean i you know it's just a it's a uh i don't know we'll see here all right silver high says no rush all right i will respond to you in four weeks from next sunday no i'm kidding silver highs i'm just teasing you all right pickle y'all there's silver drill pickles here and calvin cooper is here all right and east tennessee is checking in with gary shelton Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Yes, indeed. Mark AF is here. A lot of good folks here. We had two new um, members of the Salvation, uh, paid members of the Salvation Nation. I need to think of these are honorary citizens joined us. We had Miyoshi Bullion and Gaz Grill join us tonight. Really cool. All right. Roaming Bob says, the U.S. Mint is an embarrassment compared to other countries' silver and gold dollar coins. No creativity whatsoever out of the U.S. Mint. All right, not a fan. Very good. All right. All right. Silver Steeler says, I passed on it. However, I have to say that the coin looks so much better in hand than the pictures from the Mint release. Yes, the smile on the one child looks odd. Almost looks like Joker from Batman. Yes. They don't expect it overall. Yes, indeed. Yes, it does kind of like Joker. You're right. Silver Steeler. Who? No one. All right, here's a scammer calling us. Let's see what the scammer's got to say. Hello? Because I forgot my list of work for the numbers. Hello? Dang it. I hate Robocall and then hangs up. Hello, uh, Favir, Funny Farm. What's shaking? We're just shaking and baking. Chilling like Bob Dylan. 
Yes, we are. Good to see you. Northeast, near Johnson City, near the Tri-City area, the Tri-Cities of Bristol, uh, Johnson City, and some other town. I forget the name of it. Boogeyman is here. Good to see you. And who? No one. Who? No one. Cares. All right. Who? No one cares. Well, Robert Warner. All right. Well, all right. Hello, Car Cosmic is here. Cosmic Karma Koala. I've, I've been missing. I need to check out some of your videos. He does some great videos around the Manhattan and uh, area. Good stuff on his channel. Check out Cosmic Karma Koala. He is awesome. Really cool dude. Nice. I'm a skyscraper fanatic, so when he shows that stuff, I'll, I'll love it. Boosted Hemi is here. Good to see Boosted Hemi. It's a Betty, Eddie Van Halen coin. Yes, I've, that's right, Adam. I have actually have heard that. Um, um, as well from some uh, others who said, hey, that kind of looks like an Eddie Van Halen in a way, if in a, sort of a distance. Yeah, exactly. kind of does. John Bellinger. Hey, Sal Alamo here. All right. All right. Stacking rainwater from Human. All right. Very good. Tim Goodson's here. Welcome, all you guys. Welcome, welcome. All right. Come on over. Got new ones. Very cool. Cosmic. Nice. Medium Man is smart. Uh, he's not smoking. That's good. All right. Yes, indeed. Good to stay away from smoke if you can. Yes, indeed. Colonic Stacker. Mm -hmm. I reckon that lady must be pretty smart to be a teacher and a space flyer. Mm-hmm. Yep, and she sure is, Kalonic. That's exactly right. Speedin 108 is here. Good to see Speedin. Sal, if DC becomes a state, you're going to run for Senate. Oh, yeah, brother. I wish I could. Yes, indeed. I would do it. They'd do it. I'm, and I'd win, too. I'd win in that big leftist fiasco to, and be the, uh, you know, be Washington uh, Democratic Socialist with a C. <laughs> Right, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my man. Crazy. Algorithm food. Thank you, Mar Martin Olson. I appreciate the algorithm food. Sprinkle it on there. Live free and dig says, living in New Hampshire and being of an age to remember her tragic death, I'm anticipating the delivery of my coin today. Yes, that's right. She was from New Hampshire, indeed. So, yes, I understand Thank you, Jamie Fox. I've got your vote. All right. All right. Brio Kingstar, a very beautiful coin. Thank you so much, Brio. Bureau. Appreciate that, sir. And Martin says a very fine coin. Martin, thank you, my friend. All right. All right. Let's see here. Hey, Sal, says Barbara. What a sad day it was to see a horrific sight of the Challenger. Yes, I remember it. It was horrible. Chris McAuliffe will always remind us the Challenger and its entire crew and its ill-fated takeoff, depicting the particular school teacher to promote future scientists and to never give up hope for unbelievable opportunities could speak volumes to our children's future and ours. I like this coin because it says so much the obverse and the reverse blessings of the entire crew of the Challenger. Very well said. I agree. And I don't want to minimize her, um, I don't ever want to minimize her efforts. She was going to have classrooms up in space and do lessons every couple of days um, uh, for things to really bring it out. It would have been a great program that she would have done. Uh, so yeah, believe me, well said, uh, Barbara. I totally agree with you. All right. Coin Talk is here. Good to see Coin Talk. Welcome, my friend. Coin Talk is another um, young... <coughs> Excuse me, young member of the community. Um, it's got a channel. So if you guys uh, want to support some of the younger folks, the younger people that are into coins and precious metals, check out Coin Talk's channel. All right, very, very good. American Super Tram says, What color were Chris McCall's eyes? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, some of the video footage I've seen her of, I didn't look that closely to see, but I don't know what her eyes, what colors were. Lord Apophis says, Salivate Metal, has anyone ever told you you should? You sound like Dave Mustaine from Megadeth? I've heard that before. Hello, me. 
Meet the real me in my misfits way of life. I like silver and gold at my discretion. All right, it's a nice story. Tell it to Coin World Magazine. That's right, all right. Goose to Guzutite. Oh, the Guzut on Guzutite. Thank you, Grum Mechanic. Appreciate that. Thank you, all is one now. But that was a fake sneeze. That was not a real sneeze, okay? I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm, I'm twisted, but I'm not sick. Now, I could be sick and twisted, but I'm just twisted, okay? I gotta get a sneeze button. That's right. I, I, I've got a love button. I just need a sneeze button now. If somebody would get here, that's a sneeze button. Silverback Stacker says, too soon? It's never too soon for you to arrive, Silverback Stacker. We're glad you're here, sir. But you did miss my sneeze, all right? I had a sneeze, a little sneeze there, all right? Silver Smurfer says, on January 28th, 1986, I was a little kid in school. My mom came to pick me up and take me home for the day. When we got home, the news was on the TV. I don't remember feeling sick, but I remember feeling sick to my stomach when I saw the explosion. Yes, it was horrible. It was awful. And right on live television. It was uh, it was definitely a day that we'll never forget. Clean my side of the screen. That's right, exactly. I need practice for things. No problem, uh, Coin Talk. You're doing great. And Silver Wolverine, he kind of likes playing the U.S. Men's Games. All right, he's... He's got the stomach for it. I don't. Good to see uh, Dove Season 91. Welcome. Glad to see you here. All right. There's the bless you from Silver. Thank you, Silver Backstacker. Appreciate that. <sighs> Sal, the mental illness does make you sick and twisted. That's true. That's right. It does. It does. Uh, where has this pirate buried his treasure? Ar, ahoy there, me hearties. I buried it in my backyard. All right. Silver Honda says, beautiful commemorative Chris McAuliffe coin. I remember that tragic day. Yes, indeed. So do I. All right. Charles Atkins says, I like the coin. We'd like to have it. I remember when the shuttle blew up, and it's worth having the coin to remember. All right, yes. Indeed. Thank you, Charles. Daniel Cronin says, the prices are very high and it's not equal to the rise of the spot price of silver. Look at the silver proof set coming out on the 8th of April. It has two less quarters this year and was around $60 last year for two more silver quarters. And this year it's $105. Why? Everything is so much higher premium and it doesn't equal the spot price of silver. That's right. You know what? I normally could answer the question as to why the NIP charges what they do. But I cannot find any justification for them charging that much for the silver proof set, especially this year, much less last year. All right, good to see you, Dove Season 91. Awesome guy. Glad you're here, sir. I need more silver, all the antimicrobialness. That's right, Tim. Let me sniff this silver here. There we go. All right, does that help? Man, let's see. Maybe I won't sneeze anymore tonight. The Great Pumpkin's Loftiest Creation. Love that name. That's pretty cool. The silver they are utilizing have different owners that must be paid back in equal metal. What they hope is the demand will go away. They can buy metal later to cover the physical short. Yes. Everything is just backed up and behind right now. Okay. And where are we at? Okay. Silver Wolverine says, I didn't know. I don't know. Why they don't just want quick sellouts makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I think they could do us a favor in so many different ways. I posted a video about that today. The Blind Silver Stacker remembers the day very clearly driving and their headlights on. It was still able to drive back then. Yes. All right. Good to see. Um, uh, Kelly M. has the coin on order, order waiting for it to arrive. Remember being in school and watching the explosion, devastating. Uh, I think it's wonderful they're honoring her. Yes, thank you, Kelly. Yeah, I mean, I did too. I just think it would be good to honor them all, but but it is a good it is a good thing for sure. Uh, go to a coin shop tomorrow. Says Matthew. All right, very good. All right, let's get back up here. 
Did she teach special ed kids? No, I think she taught um, middle school, if I'm not mistaken, eighth graders, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. The car says, Sal, I'm with you on your thoughts of the direction of the mint. They're pretty woke and the mint I made better looking coins a hundred years ago. Yeah, and but again, the commemorative coin programs, they're at the mercy of Congress for those programs. But yes, indeed, all right. Uh, Calvin Cooper says, good morning, Sal. Good morning to you, Calvin. Glad to see you. All right. Uh, Barbara Carbone, good question. There is not uh, an actual coin commemorating the Challenger explosion. There was a space shuttle metal program in 1986, I believe. It was a three metal set. Uh, but there, I don't think there's an... And then in 1992, there was the Discovery program that had uh, Columbus, Christopher Columbus's Discovery. It had a, it had a half... The, the reverse of the, of the silver dollar had half of it was a space shuttle. The other half was a ship. Kind of a cool concept, the way they did that. Yeah, I don't either, Silver Wolverine. I don't like that differential treatment uh, to the dealers. I agree. All is one now. I must have offended Terry. She hasn't been here in two times. She is going to be going in timeout. If she gets here, I'm going to put her in timeout or something. She deserves punishment for not being here. And how to punish her for not being here? By timing her out for 300 seconds. No, I'm kidding it. Uh, Barbara Carbone, if you did see a Challenger coin, it may have been a U.S. Marshall's Island $5. That was one of those. That was a Marshall's Island release, and those were clad. Those were not precious metal. That's not a U.S. Mint authorized piece. Hello, VT Ryder. Good to see you, VT Ryder. Welcome, my friend. Gold Chick is here. Hello, Gold Chick. Glad to see you guys. All right. Uncle Reed says... The reason the Challenger exploded was very was also political. Warnings from MT were ignored by NASA to meet congressional expectations. Yeah, there's O-rings. It was an O-ring that had uh, melted through the temperatures, and they didn't do the studies. I saw a documentary on it. You're right. Kind of got politicized. All right. Hey, Sal. Ungian. Un oh, Ungian. Aegean, all right, I, uh, Uncle Reed, thank you. I mispronounced Aegean. Ah, I had to slurp some coffee. Silver Honda says, I'm sorry, but I have to say prayers go out to the families of Colorado supermarket shootings and Atlanta spa shootings that happened a couple of days ago. It's heartbreaking for me to hear these tragic events that go on in a, in a virus pandemic. Amen, that's a heartbreak. On uh, both incidences, it's uh, it's unmistakable that there's some real sickos out there to cheapen life like that and to shoot and kill innocent people. I, I'm right there with you, Silver Hunter. My thoughts and prayers go out to all the families and victims, uh, not only who actually died but were injured and had to witness that too. It's horrible. Um, prayers go out to them. Um, Matthew Craig, why is the mint more expensive than Atmex? Um, uh, well, it just depends on the product. Um, for U.S. Mint products, you're going to pay the lowest at the Mint. The Atmex will always charge a higher price uh, than what the Mint charges in any given year for any item or product. Um, uh, peer, person, place. I have not heard from John Hartley. was thinking about him the other day. I hope he's okay, too. And usually, he loves these videos I post about commemorative coins from the Mint. He usually is quick on it, but I've not heard from him, from him in a while either. Uh, so I don't have a contact for him, but I hope he is okay. John Hartley, he, uh, he's a retired police officer and a good guy. And so I hope that uh, he's all right. Eric is here, our resident bouncer. But he's um, he's he's late, but that's because he's was busy dressing. He's fashion. He's fashionable. He's fashionably late. Good to see you, my friend. Just glad you're here. Eric, all right. Uncle Reed says, tossed in a church collection basket or spend it in a brothel. Don't you love this guy? Yes, indeed. Exactly. Crazy. One of those two things or both. 
The baseball one was a hit. No pun intended. That's exactly right. Numismatic stacker. Sure was a hit. Boston stacker. Hey, the Boston stack is here. That's right. I love that. Good stuff, dude. You know the popular old saying, you learn something new every day. Well, even though I've only seen a sub of yours for a short time so far, I've only been a sub of yours a short time so far, that saying comes true every time I watch something new of yours. Um, so either I'm much dumber than I thought I already was, or you're a freaking genius. Well, thank you, my friend. I don't know about that. I believe you're smarter than you think, and I'm dumber than you think. Seriously, I'm familiar. Um... Uh, I'm familiar or unfamiliar with this topic or item and what you're discussing in your content, uh, content. I always happen to pick up a little nugget of info or some bigger nuggets that I learn about. Probably because it's always solid facts. No garbage. Keep it up. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. That's very high praise, Boston Stacker. I love that. I almost want to say that with a with a, an Australian accent, but it's very kind of you, sir. And I appreciate you being a sub and thanks for your kind words. But... I do try to do my due diligence and my research, but there has been times where I've gotten things wrong, and I know I'll probably get things wrong in the future too, but uh, I do appreciate it, and I very much am glad you're here. Thank you so much. Um, Matthew, you're saying coins are cheaper at the mint, not what I see. Um, in other words, this, this dollar here will probably be more expensive at Atmax now, if it's previous years, it may be cheaper than what it originally was at the mint. It just depends on the coins. And it depends, because uh, they get them from the secondary market, which means that they're going to be paying less for it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's a, that's kind of um, that's kind of what I'm talking about. But unless they buy it for a cheaper price, they're going to be cheapest at the mint. Yeah, my my Boston accent tends to morph into Australian. Every other accent, every accent I try to do will always end up to Australian. It never fails. I can't escape it. I don't know why. Come in all day, Chip. We're gonna make our way over here, Chip, and then we're gonna have a hand the Tommy Kangaroo down over there. That's right. We're gonna do it. Now imagine. Hey, is a colonic stacker still here? All right, very hey, all right, why don't we buy a gold pamphlet in the mailbox? Just got a gold pamphlet, wow, from Stanley Steamer. Synergy says, I don't understand, isn't gold supposed to be a hedge against inflation? I've seen nothing but signs that it's not. Precious metals fell alongside the stock market in 2020 and noticed a synchronicity between the stock markets and precious metals. Like today, everything is red. How are precious metals a hedge if they follow the trend of red like everything else. Well, good question, Synergy. We're going to have times of pullback as well uh, because of the way the markets work, but you have to look at it long term and don't get sidelined by intraday trading or interweek or even intermonth trading. Uh, Eric, very nice. Patient penance for my tardiness. Oh, well, Eric, man, that's very kind of you, sir. I appreciate the super chat, but you know what? Just you being here is more than I could ask for. So I appreciate you, my friend. Yes, I need to do some, um, yeah, uh, Cockney accents become Aussie accents. That's right. All right. Let's go here and I'd like to try to do me some push-ups now. Here we go. I'm going to do a little bit of push-ups. Five push-ups for Eric. That's right. A resident banter. Yeah. Mm. And five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you got three times your money on that one, Eric. All right. Three times your money. Nice. Ah. Whew. You guys are great. All right. Silver Damsel is here. Hello, Silver Damsel. And you know, when Silver Damsel is here, that means she's naked. That's right. Every time, anytime. Love you too, Minted AUAG. You were awesome. And if you want to know how I know that Silver Damsel is naked, I will let her tell you. That's right. Silver Smith, did you see the Biden meme where he is riding up the stairs? One of the automatic lift chairs? Oh my gosh. I've not seen that. Oh, no way. All right. Silver Drill Pickle has just instituted a real 
push-up challenge. All right, here we go. Let me get ready here. Man, all right. Silver Drill Pickle is the man. True story, true story from Silver Damsel. You want to know why, just ask her. Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah. Oh man, okay. 20 push-ups for Silver Drill Pickle. We did it. Adam Marshall says Silver. Whew, thank you guys. All right. Ah, very good. Yeah, okay. I catch my breath a little bit on this one because I just did 15 just a second before that. Even though Donald says fake. But if... Silver Steeler were here, he would say real. All right. Michael Sorrell, this sucking up through the mint just passes me off. Yes, indeed. Whew. Thank you, Adam. Oh, my goodness gracious. Plumber Stacker has posted another challenge. Whoa. Plumber Stacker. Oh, my gosh. Man. <laughs> Plumber Stacker, you posted something that almost got as much attention as the post just above yours. Silver Damsel says, I'm naked and wet right at this very moment. Let's see what this scammer has to say before we do this push up. Hello? Has nothing Hello, to do with consumer law. Thanks to the financial stimulus, your credit card company, Saved Viva, by a scammer. MasterCard, Discover, Hold on. and American Express have finally agreed to lower the interest rate as well as your monthly payment. Press 1 to receive your free information. Has nothing to do with my... Thank you for... Yes? Dang it! Crap! Oh, I really wanted to mess with her. I really wanted to mess with her. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Rocky Superstar is here. Good to see Rocky. Uh, want the... Uh, Akobane Adin Krahin. In your last video, you sound like you think the controllers want to sell us silver. I'm not sure what that means. The controllers want to sell us silver. Who are the controllers? It's SLR. What's SLR? I don't know what SLR is. That's a type of camera, right? Someone said, what am I doing? I'm doing some push-ups. Show us your muscles. Man, I'm getting a little bit of muscles, but not a my chest muscles are a little bit harder, but not necessarily bigger. All right, let me do these push-ups for... Uh, I'm going to get these push-ups out of the way for the one and the only plumber stacker. 20 more. Dang it. I wasn't expecting a push-up challenge tonight. Man, you guys are, are working me. Let me, let me, uh, here we go. Whew. Uh, do I have this? Tell me if I got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to stretch that out. Oh, I'm going to stretch it out. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, man. I said hard chest. Oh my gosh, I'm still, I still can't get over that Silver Damsel post. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, all right. Firming up for who, says Amber Hagelstein, whom I'm firming up for who? Oh my goodness gracious. You guys are great, you guys are great, okay. Robert Diello just did 3,000 one-handed, nice. He's got me beat on that. R.G. Argentum says, looks like the price is not prohibiting sales, so I'm sure they'll raise it to $100 soon. Yeah, we'll see what the uh, numbers 
the sales figures for these are after the first week. Ooh, an old reverse deco. Art Deco, 1936 Bridgeport, Connecticut commemorative. Second to 1799 reverse heraldic eagle. Those are nice. And nod to those eagles on those coins. You're right, Gold Chick. Very, very nice. Uh, okay. Uh, a Coben says, in other words, do you think they will sell us silver or gold if it were not a law? Um, the U.S. Mint... Probably not. Um, I don't think they would have any obligation to if it wasn't law, right? I would think. Uh, stack attack, 999, fine. No, that's actually me doing push-ups. Yes, indeed. Believe it or not. Okay. And Gas Girl believes me. Very cool. Thanks, Gas Girl. Gabby, do you have a 50 gram gold bar valve can be poured on hand to look at? About to buy. No, I don't, Gabby, but they're nice bars. Very nice bars. Congratulations if you're about to buy one of those. That's incredible. Archie Castle says another problem with the mint are those drawings they put instead of the real image of the coin. Thanks for taking one of them for the team to show it to us. No problem, Archie. Um, they release those first, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Then they release renderings, and then they release the actual coin. All right, very good. Welcome, Yusuf. Al Yusuf is here, gold and silver coins. Welcome, my friend. Been a long time since I've seen you. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad to have you. I think Yusuf is from uh, Q8, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Michael Sorrell says, Mint has been taken over by activist liberals with political agenda to push. Well, I don't know that we necessarily can blame the actual Mint officials on that, but um, maybe partially, but anyways. Uh, Donald blames me, and his thing is now out of date. It's now lost some, Donald, but you probably will post a comment on that with the decrease later on. All right, very good to see you guys. Crow Ace 13 says, I too collect the modern commemoratives, mainly because you've got something different and unique each year. The major problem I have with them are the insane premiums of new issues. A basketball gold piece is PF70, can run you 700, 800 bucks for a quarter ounce of gold. Way too much hype there for my liking. I understand. Uh, part of that money is for surcharges for the programs that they commemorate. Benny Barker, ever heard of the Juice Weasel? Jim Carrey, no, I've never heard of the Juice Weasel. I know who Jim Carrey is, but all right. Oh, Amber Hagelstein, has anybody uh, bought the Stacker Soap? I got some of the kids for Easter. Ain't so much other crap they don't need. Stacker Soap, I've not seen that. Very good. At Max Cherry Picks. Okay, yeah. But it's just stuff they, uh, they send off for grading and stuff like that. Exclusive grading. CCT says, I should really study more U.S. history. I had no idea who she was. Yes. Yep, CCT. She passed away in a shuttle accident. How much longer till silver gets around $24? Well, let's take a look right now, Native. It may be there now in Asia. May not take too long. Actually, it's it's up a cent right now in Asia. So, yeah. We'll see here. <clears throat> Some people feel like it could go lower before it goes higher in the coming months. I even talked about that in a prior video. <clears throat> okay, Silver Drill Pickle, thank you so much for their Super Chat Push-Up Challenge, my friend. I appreciate you. Pickle, have a good night, sir. Thanks for being here. You are awesome. All right. <clears throat> the Federal Brook Regulatory Agencies today announced a temporary change of the Supplementary Leverage Ratio. Okay, SLR for depository institution issued May 15th will expire as scheduled. <coughs> okay, interesting. Um, that will expire. All right, let's see here. 
Yes, 100 thumbs up would be cool. Thank you, guys. We've got 91 thumbs up now. Aloha Stacker says, I remember watching that live on TV when the tragic accident happened. I was at school and all the teachers started crying. I was young, though, and I didn't think I did not not understand at the moment what exactly happened. I agree. I think if she were still with us, she would have wanted the coin to be about the whole crew and not just her. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Aloha. Very good. Jen Italia, I'm going to make a Pudenda Johnson coin, a Pudenda on one side and a Johnson on the other. Johnson will be heads and Pudenda will be tails. All right. Hell, I think there ought to be a little love button on there somewhere. And uh, on either side, there should be a Jen Italia privy. How about that? Fred F. says, I was outside smoking a cigarette and went back to the building in my class, and math teacher had the TV out with the news. That's how I found out about the Challenger. We were talking about Krista McAuliffe the day before in the same class because she was a teacher. And in the PS, as far as U.S. Mint goes, this this is a better dumb uh, than the turds they put out. So I'm going to include the eagle on the turd list. Can't stand the eagle design. All right. Very good. No worries. Talk about the new or old. Um... Kalanik, would you support a joint U.S.-Russian-Chinese military strike on the Cook Islands to avenge the scam gold coin? Now, I'll tell you what, it really, in a way, kind of surprises me that any sovereign nation would support such a, um, um, what's the word, a scam or deceptive practice as that, which has become... National Collectors Mint, American Mint, and some of those others. I think it's mostly National Collectors Mint that does that. <clears throat> Very highly deceptive. Legal because of the language that they use in them, but still very deceptive. All right. Capricorn 1 says, Lestat Amati. Yes, indeed. EMT56399 says, sorry you bought it. That's a lump of silver that I'd leave alone. High premiums, crappy politics, not even an ounce of silver. Should have used the silver for something else. Well, <clears throat> and again, as a collector of the whole series, I'm somewhat obligated as a completist to keep it up. But I hear you. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? Okay. Coinhound says... Nice enough coin. I do not mind the obverse, but on the reverse, they could have had a rendition of the famous photo of the astronauts walking the gangway to the shuttle on the way to the launch. That would have been a nice tribute. That's true. I agree. I think that would have been nice and showed them all. That's right. Bob Hall says, that's a beautiful piece. Got to get me one. You're right. The whole crew should be on the coin. That's right. All right. So is there or isn't there? This is a yes or no question, not a 10-minute video. Well, I want you to watch it. you got to go back and watch it to find out. And you know what? I forget. So, Puga Chavez, go watch the video. Is there really a 500 ounce of the silver in a Tomahawk cruise missile? Want to find out? Go watch the video. All 10 minutes of it. Butt crack jack. You're all idiots if you listen to this guy. Spot price has nothing to do with physical purchases, so it's right now, but a one ounce Eagle and JM point is still $40. He's an idiot because he, um, all he had to do is watch the video to find out that I addressed that. And this guy, he says, I'm an idiot. He's like, get you, stack your silver no matter what's going up. Period. I'm a long term holder. Your, your butt crack stinks so much that even if you put an ounce of silver in there, there's no way that it could defeat the germs and the pesticides that are that are mingled within your dingleberry butt crack, Jack. All right. MM126, great video style. Krista McCall's mother lived in a town next door where I placed her roof in the early 2000s. Wow. That's interesting. So you have a personal connection there. Wow. 
Thanks, M.M. All right. Carlos Danger, it's a nice addition for sure. Nice pickup. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that, Carlos. All right. Good to see you guys. Press 1 if you're an idiot, says Don in New Mexico. Good to see Mark B. Bill457 is here. Good to see you guys. All right. Carlos Danger, one out of three, 35th year commemorative of the first commemorative coins in 1986. They're missing a great opportunity. Yes. Joe Ramirez. Um, Boys Town has a 100-year-old history of service to underprivileged children of all backgrounds. Who can forget the classic 1938 movie Boys Town starring Mickey Rooney and Spencer Tracy who won an Academy for Best Actor in his portrayal of Father Flanagan? A real tearjerker. Must see. Ah, interesting. I did not know. Wow. Thank you, sir. All right. Burke Crun says, only buy one dollar silver coins. Chad Lichtenstein says, I'm not a fan of that. Eagles for me only. But yeah, as a stacker, this is definitely not a stacker's coin for sure. All right, very good. And let's see here. Pretty, great video. Thank you, Audra. Audra Matney, appreciate that. I might pause here and try to call up one of these scammers. This is, I'm, I left another list at, 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 at home. And so, yeah, I have another number I could call too. Let me see if I can find that one. It's not dialing out. The person you are trying to reach is unavailable. Crap. Where is the one from Georgia? Here we go. It's a spoof number, maybe a spoof number. We'll find out here. Yep. The number you have dialed is not in. Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Let's try that one. We got Illinois. try it. I would stack the coin for a year, but I could buy it melt. There you go. You could buy it at melt. Man, I'm having no no luck when I'm dialing out. They have to call me, and even then it'll kind of go out. Try to do this again. Manny. She's got many Unfortunately, things. your call will not go through due to your caller ID showing as blocked or restricted. Please. Dang it. Idiots. Jordan. I don't think this is going to work either. I never get these. Never can get these people to answer. We always have our Blake guy. I don't think we'll bother Blake anymore. Hi, this is Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Hello. I was calling about the uh, loan for my business here. You'd call me. Sorry, can you? Yes. Oh, you, you missed a call from us? Uh, yes, I received a call from you and uh, about a loan for my business. I, wanted, I was interested in talking to you about that. Can we make that happen? Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Uh, what should be your name, sir? Uh, my name is Charles Fitzsimmons. Charles. Charles Fitzsimmons. And how much? Yeah. And how much are you looking for? I'm looking for about uh, two hundred and forty thousand dollars for this special uh, new initiative that our business is going to be doing regarding bathtubs. 
You're going to love this idea, uh -huh. Jordan, yeah. Okay, no problem. So it sounds like expansion, right? Expanding your business. We're going to be expanding, expulging, and expunging. Every kind of exfoliating the business, yeah. Copy that. Copy no that. And copy that too, yeah. Okay. And uh, the loans that you do, uh, sir, these are unsecured and qualified business loans, totally based on the cash flow of your business. Sure. And in order to get you an approval, all I'd be needing from you uh, or asking from you would be a one page application filled out and the recent three months of your business account statements. So, uh, how much deposits I could expect to see, let's say last month in uh, February, how much you deposited? About $125,000 last month. And what about the month before that, in January? <clears throat> uh, January, about uh, 99000 Yeah. 99. And in December? December, we did about 130000 Wow, cool. So, there would yeah. be no problem to get your $40,000 approval. So, yeah, let me shoot you those emails. Uh, what would be the best email address to reach you? Did you say eagles or emails? If you had to choose to buy one ounce of gold or 96 ounces of silver, which would you choose? I would choose the one ounce of gold. That's just me. Oh, what happened? He, he left. I was answering to you, Lawrence Franklin. Good question, my friend. I had to stop this. Well, the scammer. Let me try to call him back. He hung up on me. I don't know what happened there. Let's get back here. Let's see if we can have it here. Coin sense and nonsense. Good to see you. Shuttle bus. All right, my friend. Good to see you. We are calling some scammers. Oh, because number was busy. What happened there? We're going to try to give him a call back here. Welcome, my friend, and thank you so much. Good question, Lawrence Franklin, by the way. I would do the one ounce of gold. Uh... But it depends on how much silver uh, you have in your collection. Really, you know what I mean? Ounce deposits. There you go. Come on, Jordan. Hey, Charles. Yes, yes, yes. We get we lost contact. There hey, so, uh, I don't know why the call dropped. Did you hang up? No, no, I didn't hang up. It's weird. I don't know what happened there. But anyways, you were asking me about uh, uh, what I was going to use the money for. It's a special uh, bathtub uh, we're constructing. Yeah, yeah. You, you already told me that you're going to expand, expose, and a exfoliate. lot of other things too. And exfoliate. Don't forget ex about exfoliation. Yeah. Okay, got you. So what's the email? Let me show you the email. Uh, don't waste. Uh, I don't want to waste your time and my time. Well, no, no. Your that, email, but see this, this. But here's the thing. It's not just the bathtub. It's the soap that goes with it too. And what makes the silver, uh, what it makes the bathtub so unique, is is it's called the Silver Damsel Bathtub Edition, and it has um, special silver atoms in the paint. You know how the paint uh, is over top of the metal part of the ceramic. That helps to exfoliate. Mm -hmm. It helps to exfoliate the skin, and keeps you nice and clean in that bathtub. But there's one thing: you have to be completely naked if you're in the bathtub in order for it to work. And the soap that goes along with this. See what we this promotion we're doing is for this silver infused bathtub. There is silver infused soap that comes with it. So each person gets a free bar of soap, and and will can be constructed in such a way that you won't even need a plumber stacker to fix any of the plumbing after it's done i mean it's completely foolproof and and heavy um, breathing good. and heavy breathing proof too understood yeah okay sounds good uh can you give me your email man yes I'll let it is you the Fitz... email i was about to get out of the office okay it is c for charles but there's no charles in the actual email address it's just c for charles Fitzsimmons47 mm -hmm. at CompuServe.net. CompuServe. Got you. Okay. okay. I'm shooting you the emails right away, okay? Don't shoot it. Just send it, okay? Just just send it, Jordan, all right? Yeah. Okay, I'll send it to you. Man. All right, thank you. No I hope problem. you have a wonderful evening. And let me leave you with a sage piece of advice, Jordan, and that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. I look forward to do business with you. This is going to be fantastic. Fantastic.
Got you. Okay. Got you. No problem, man. I'll be sending you the emails right okay. away. Okay, take a squeezy. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let me, let me impersonate him uh, saying goodbye. He's like, meh, 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 meh. That's how he's, it's so exciting the way he said that. It was like a Z, it's a sonar. All right, I'm really gonna like a back massage too. I would too, Barbara. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. His office is in his house. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Can't believe I forgot my other numbers at work. I hate when I do that. I do have another full sheet of numbers here with a loan scam and one might try just for gits and shiggles. Here's Tony. Tony. To 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 like the way you think. The person you are calling is currently unavailable. Oh, Please leave on. a message. Let's try this loan scammer. And then we got Joseph Alec. Surprise it doesn't have 999 silver on it. Yeah. They usually don't. These commemoratives usually don't have the uh, purity because that would determine it to be a... Yeah. Come on. Answer, answer. We'll call Joseph Allen next. The person you are calling is currently unavailable. A son of a motherless goat. Come on, Joseph. Now you answer. Eight, 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 very really good, all right. That's right, as a, as the saying goes, every tub has a silver lining. That's right, silver damsel. Jacob? Jacob, yes, hello. I was calling, uh, actually, I was looking for Joseph Alec. Is he there, or I can talk to you. Are you from Front Leap? You can Leap? talk to me. Are you with Front exactly. Leap? Are you with Front Leap Capital? Yeah. All right, I'm looking to do some business with you for a loan for this special um, initiative we're doing for our company. Can you help me with that? Uh, you know, that's what I do. So why that's not? what you do. That's that's how you roll, right? Is that how you roll? Exactly. All right, that's what she said. All right. So what we want to do is, I have this special idea. It's a silver-lined bathtub, and no one's ever done this before. It's going to be a new thing. Uh, we're lining a bathtub with silver that has antimicrobial properties. It exfoliates the skin and expunges all of the bad uh, particles and viruses and germs, including COVID-20. Uh, and uh, we're going to be able to do this uh, with this special bathtub that will, I think is going to do very well in the marketplace. And we need some funding for it. Mm -hmm. um, now, the special How part of this... How much are we this, talking about? What's that? What are we talking about? I just told you what we were talking about. How much are we talking about? How much? Oh, well, I'm looking to get a loan for about $290,000, if that's possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay, just to ahead. secure the silver from the COMEX. We need to get the silver from the COMEX first. From the COMEX to the bathtub, that's what they always say. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Did you, was that a uh-huh there as an agreement or... No, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, yeah. And before so here, I say things, uh, I, I would have to know about you, right, yes, and your ideas. Sure, yeah. Now, here's the kicker. Not only is do you, if the, the consumer is going to get a free bar of silver-laced soap, a bar of silver-laced soap to wash in that tub, that's going to get them extra squeaky clean. It's going to be just wonderful. And once we get through this first phase, we're going to do bath salts, Bath oils for silky skin, all that stuff, all laced with silver. I mean, silver is the bomb diggity right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, um, 
<clears throat> How much are you guys, you know, bringing in in terms of deposit each month? Uh, we're we're popping in somewhere around the neighborhood of about a hundred and eighty to two hundred and forty thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, do you have any existing loans with any other company? Uh, no, I would just be only working with you. I'm a completely plutonic plague type of guy. I have a platonic plague relationship with, with whoever loan a lending agency I'm with. Okay. All right. Uh, so we, we should get, you know, started with an application first. Okay. I just need you to fill out an application and send me Can last Can we do that over the, the phone? I'm kind of limited on, you know, uh, availability. I might help uh, cut to the chase. Can we do that over the phone? Can you like just fill it out? Uh, actually, I need your signature. I could send you a docu sign. We could be on the phone. You could do it. You fill out from your cell phone. Uh, yeah, I might don't have one of those fancy schmancy cell phones. Um, but uh, but let's start the process and uh, and we'll see about. And I can give you my email address to send it to after the, you know, when we hang up. And then I can just docu sign it. I can have a document sign up for me. Uh, probably a Word document does really good with signatures, and I'll have them uh, sign it for what me. What you can do is you can text me your email to this number, okay? Okay. You can text me. Um, mm. Just, you know, send me a text. Right. I'll send you the docu sign. It's coming from Front Lead Capital. Fill it out and for four months of bank statements, and right. I'll get you an approval tomorrow. Oh, and, that's, uh, wow, we'll that's quick. That's fast soy this. I like fast soy this. That's incredible. So what's the first line on the application? My name, probably? Yeah, the business name, legal business name, DBA. It's a very basic information. I'll sure. need your federal tax ID, social oh, security yeah, no number. Problem. I got that handy, you know, smandy, yeah. So it's, you know, very basic information, you know, business start date. Um, yeah, basic, very basic information. Very basic information, right. Yeah, right, very good, right. Nice. Well, that, that, sounds, that sounds promising, and uh, I think that's something that's very viable, very doable. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just incredible. I, I like this opportunity that, that could arise from this. And so with this money, um, um, you know, I might have some left over. I could probably fly you out. We could have you test out the tub if you'd like, you know, well, but you would have to be naked. That's the only thing. Now I wouldn't look. I hey, would not we, look. We, 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 we came to the world naked, you know, that's true. We did come that, into the that's world That's the more naked. natural, you know, the most natural, uh, <laughs> Uh, way right. It is especially when you're it. in the shower in the tub. It, it's I, I mean that's the oh, natural. I mean, yep. Yeah, I don't mind. Very good. All right. Well, sounds good. All right. Well, uh, my friend, I appreciate it. I think it's going to be a wonderful opportunity, and I will have my girl fax over to you all the information to your DocuSign, and we'll uh, we'll do this thing right. Okay. And I appreciate it very much. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna submit this email. to a Shark Tank next. We're gonna we're gonna take the bathtub to the Shark Tank, and then we we'll we'll make it happen over there, and then we'll get booted out. Okay. But I got I have a date with Terry here in a minute. She hasn't showed up. I'm waiting for her to show up here. But but I do appreciate you very much. And uh, what you gonna and, do? With, what you gonna do with her? What am I gonna do with Terry? Well, if she ever shows up here, she's been late the last, but if she ever, the first thing I'm going to do with Terry is I'm going to time her out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to time her out. That's the first thing I'm going to do with her, if you know what I mean. You get the innuendo with that one, time her out? Mm hmm You and get then? it. That's the new lingo they're saying, the kids are saying these days. Wait till you see what I do with Silver Damsel in that bathtub. Now, that's another thing. That's, that's some heavy, <laughs> that's some heavy breathing stuff right there and grunting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not talking about push-ups either. I'm talking about pull-ups. If you get my drift, right? Yeah, you get you get my. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? All right. Yeah, of course. Okay, brother. Well, I've got to go. I got some. How strong is your pull-out game? Uh, it's it's pretty good, but my Kegel game is even better. I'm really good at the Kegels myself. Oh yeah. Yeah. How long have you been practicing that? I've been practicing those for about uh, seven months now. I've gotten pretty darn good at it. I've gotten so good at it that that if Terry were to show up right now, I'd have no idea she was here. That's how good that I am at the Kegels. <laughs> I'm serious. I kid you not. All right, brother. Hey, hey I appreciate it. All right. Let's hey, end. I appreciate You know, you're wasting my time a bit, you know, at the end of the day. 
<laughs> but it's made you, it made you smile. It made you laugh. And that's really the bottom line. And why is that? Because Stone Cold said so. All right? Right. All right. Right. Take a squeezy. Yeah, break some, you know. Go ahead and crack some beers. I'll crack Enjoy some beers. Yourself. I'll drink them, too. It's better to drink them than crack them. All right. Take it easy. Yeah, See just you. like Stone Cold, right? Just like Stone Cold crack. Steve Austin. That's right. <laughs> boom. Shalaka, boom. <laughs> All right. Take a squeezy. See you later, brother. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right, very good. All right. <laughs> this is why I shower, Meteo Man. That's good. Now he's imagining me naked. That's crazy. All right. Ah, can't believe we got a hold of one of these guys. Let's call Blake back. Blake is always a good time. He's a guy that had the flat tire. I kind of felt bad for him. But he's a, he's a good sport. We'll have fun with with Blake. Sterling Cannabis says, all they make are melters. I'm more concerned about my silver supply. Blake. Is this Blake from Cap Deck Funding? Yes, who's this? Blake, what's happening, my friend? It's Charles Fitzsimmons here, just calling about the loan, brother. <laughs> That's... That's what? Charles? Charles, yeah. Charles, I'm going to have to let you go. I got another client on the line. But, dude, I'm a client. So I will call you back. I'm a client. Home I'll call slice. you back. But, dude, man, don't leave me hanging. I'm the one that helped you with your flat tire. Son of a. I made his day. That's right, Amber. I didn't make Blake's day, though. Blake is sh turning, taking another turn for the... Uh, another direction here. The turn for, I don't know. All right. Some of these other numbers are old. All right, let's let's get back to the channel comments here. I think we've had enough of that. I've been rejected. He wants to get a hold of me. So all they make are melters. I'm more concerned about my silver supply and that of the Perth than that of the Perth Mint. All the silver that comes out of their production has a lizard stamped on it. They do not produce any silver that I'm willing to own. Yes, I know some people definitely are against the queen on the Silver there, I see what you're saying. Silver Scorpion, thank you for sharing this. No problem, my friend. This is the uh, U.S. Mint creates new policy that ends up hurting rather than helping customers. And the drug war today says, there are some who believe her death and the whole thing was staged. She lived on as some other person. Yeah, I've heard of that. I found that out in the comments on that one. Thank you. Go figure. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Mint doesn't sell anything on their website for the Mint there in Russia for Silver Stacking Academy. Uh, the price drop got me to order $5 commemoratives with not bad premiums. I feel good about the temporary price drop. I'll be looking for some Turkish gold or at least uh, taffy. There you go. All right, brother. All right. Hello, Gabby Marr. Everyone uh, at your bank forgiveness loan section C and F. There you go. PP loan. Blake is a soap opera name. Yes, it is a soap opera name, isn't it? It's crazy. VT Ryder says, I'm just going to get a vendor account and order in bulk one at a time. There you go. Yes, indeed. MS Row 99 got to keep the premiums high, hard pass. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Sterling Cannabis says, Good gravy, you have a problem just because you are the director of the Mint does not mean you need to own each piece of crap they ever charge for. Uncle Sal, you need help. I think special cookies are in order, yes. Well, I'm nearing the end of the time where I'm going to be collecting these things, I think. All right. Will Vids goes to melt value in record time. Yes, we saw it very well could be the case. By the way, an official hello to Terry. Glad you're here. We've missed you, Terry. We've been asking about you. So Wolverine, our U.S. Mint products have a transport fee. Lovely. The more the government gets ideas, gets great ideas, the more screwed up things get. Just make sure you get it from the Mint to avoid that fee. That's right. Barbara Carbone is taller than I am. That's right. She sure is. Coin Hound says, almost everything to do with the mint makes my head hurt. I hear ya, I hear ya. Crazy, crazy. 
Number four says Rocky. Thank you, Rocky. He inspired this video. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Comanche says, I'm over the mint. I'm no longer buying every year. The U.S. Mint loves its resellers and not us coin collectors. And their website sucks. Yes, indeed. All right. Mm. Eric, if I could toss out a shameless plug, I just uploaded a new unboxing video. Eric, check out Eric's channel. Um, he's posted a new unboxing video. Yes, indeed. I need to check that out. Yes, hello to Terry. So check out Eric's channel. Very good. Thank you, my friend. My kitten has a black belt. Hello, greetings to you. Bring the hurt, bring the pain from the mint. Alamo here. Slurp, says John Bellinger. All right. What does that mean, Alamo here? You're from uh, San Antonio? Life's Good says the fact that they responded to the accusation yells to me that they have a little to no inventory. Well, that's right. That's basically what they're saying. But just because they have no inventory does not mean that there's a silver shortage. There's a difference there. There's a difference there. All right. John Bethia says this will give them too much info on us, won't it? Uh, I'm not any more than they already have, right? Greetings, members, one and all. It says blue. We haven't seen blue in the chat in a while. Good to see blue. Finding Kino is here. Good to see all you guys. Monty, thank you, Sal, and Rocky Superstar. Great video. Thank you, my friend, Monty. Yes, indeed. How tall are you, Barbara, if you don't mind me asking? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say you're ten, you're five foot eleven. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if that's correct. Kalonic Superstar, I'm suspending all MMA matches until Joe Biden ends this illegal occupation of the White House. Well, sadly, you might be waiting a while. Okay, Blue is here, but unless, unless of course, the Twenty Fifth Amendment is invoked, and therefore um, uh, Mrs. Harris becomes president. Good to see Blue. Blue is here. And Mr. Bone Dangles is here. Glad to see Blue here. Blue is here. Blue, blue, blue. He's my boy, Blue, as uh, Hell Creek says. 5'11", I was right. She is 5'11". I guessed it correctly. I don't think I knew that before, did I, Barbara? That's amazing. That's cool. You are 5'11". Nice. Tippy Top says, how about making enough coins to meet demand? There we go. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. For the bullion stuff, that's what they're really supposed to, supposed to do. Uh, Gabby Marr, PP loan, look it up later. Oh, I know, the person that they offer me those loans, too. It's crazy. Grim and Dictatorial says, Cosmic Karma Koala. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> and we've got the spam... I've been trying to catch these darn things, but it's very difficult. Times, let's see here. <clears throat> Come on, of course it takes a while. I've only dated five foot eight inch or taller women from Ned Flanders. Interesting. Okay, Michael Phillips is six foot two. All right. And That's gone now. Rob M says, sounds like a de facto default into higher coin prices uh, by bifurcating, bifurcating the markets. Yes. Sure does. Uh, like you do everything. I, I just filed it away. So, okay, I did know it. Okay. So I must have pulled it from out of memory. I didn't know. So you did tell me before. Okay. So dang it. Here I thought, here I thought it was um, being fancy. Uh, how tall am I, Amber Hagelstein asked. Oh, man. I'm just slightly shorter than Barbara Carbone. How's that? So I'm slightly, slightly shorter than Barbara. I'm not a very tall guy. All right, that's right. And dang it, I hate these darn things. Well, that one went away relatively quickly I think here let's see here I scissored a midget once oh my goodness gracious all right 
man, crap. Why does it do this? Kalonic Stacker, the mint is run no better than Dual Hargraves Construction. That is true. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Highlander Stacking is here. Hello, hi hello, Highlander. Say that five times fast. Very good. Thank you. All right. Eric is five foot eight, two hundred seventy-five pounds. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. Coins A to Z. Sal's gal makes Elevate Metal Channel great again. Yes, indeed, he sure does. All right. And uh, let's see here. Lewis Overfield says, thanks for the info and video. Here comes the high premiums. It will be us that will see 50 plus or 100 plus ounce silver. Yes. We shall see high premiums. But the thing is, that's just on the, pre on the numismatic stuff. It's on the numismatic stuff. All right. Let's see here. Sal is probably in his pajamas right now. How much do I weigh, Sal? Uh, how much do you weigh? Uh, I'm taller than 5'8". About 5'10 and a half. I weigh 947 pounds. No, I'm kidding. Actually, kind of a thin guy. Too thin, maybe. Algorithm food, says Martin Olson. Thank you. Coins A to Z. I haven't stopped buying silver, gold, and platinum to the moon. Right. I'm still mad at the mint for the V75 debacle. Yes, I know. I hear you. It was madness. It was madness. Oh, let's see here. John Bethia says, Coin collection will be a thing of the past. Now is the time to look at coins as silver and gold, at least to me. All right. Very good. Silver Lover says, I agree with you. I personally think that the mint director should be fired and a person with a collector background should be hired instead. So far as tenure, it's not really proved to be all that good. Stuff there are very good. All right. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Amber, I like being tall. My daughter is 6'1", and my two boys are 6'5". I'm the short one on the family. How tall are you, Amber? Uh, forgive me. Oh, yeah, no, I know, uh, Gabby. But what happens is these scammers use the PP loan to scam you with that, Gabby. They use that, they use that legitimate loan. Uh, they say they're going to give you a PP. They can help get you the PP loan faster, but they scam you with it. All right. Sterling Cannabis. Being on numismatic emotional value is never a good idea in the first place. Paying extra for something that's stamped in silver is betting that someone else will overpay for emotionally soaked silver. The stamping has no real value. That's 100% emotional attachment. Screw the government mints. They have you in a trance to overspend. Well, it's a collector's mindset versus a stacker's mindset when you're talking about Sterling Cannabis. Okay, so Amber is five foot ten. Okay, very cool. All right. Nice. Terry admitted she ordered restraints. Oh man, she has a restraining order against me. Man. Did it work? I don't know. Well she she hasn't been here in the last two live chats, so maybe that was something going to court or something. I'm not sure. Hello, Tyler. Good to see you. The U.S. Mint will keep screwing things up. Wait till the new Peace Dollar Morgan comes out. We will be getting screwed again. I'm sticking with silver bars, junk silver. That's probably what they're <clears throat> preparing for. Is why they're doing this, is my guess. And it will be a screw us over type of situation, Dale. I agree. Let's water down this coffee now. We've been going at this live stream for, man... Longer than usual here. We'll get a couple more of these and we'll kick you guys to the curb. What's the first business? Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's an educational thing in sciences. It's an acronym, I think. Uh, but I forget what it stands for. Audrey says, plenty of coin, uh, mint coin of flea markets keep stacking. Yes, that's true. 
That's right. If you're patient, you can find a better deal with them in the secondary market. Blossom Boomer sounds like they're trying to stick it to everyone and cause price increases. Yeah, tell you what. It does. It's nuts. JD says, what's to stop dealers from cherry-picking coins for slabbing and charging even more? Classic government solution. The people get screwed. Yes. Crazy, crazy. All right. A few more. So, but Wolverine, total BS, but I have a feeling the U.S. Mint customer service, there's no social media people. I have no clue what's going on. I think that's right. Whoever answered Rocky's email, I don't think knew either. They have boilerplate stuff they <laughs> sent out. Calvin Cooper, good evening, Sal. Good evening to you, Cal. They call me Sal. They call you Cal. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. And, uh... Favir Funny Farm says, so much for getting a good price. Looks like we will be adding in premiums for these dealers. Total, B yes, BS. I agree. It's crazy. This has been true for a long time, says Gold Chick. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's been true for a long time in terms of the bullion program, but they do exclusively to the authorized purchasers for the bullion. This is for the numismatic products. That's new. All right, Dwight Yoakam is six feet tall, killed by the five foot ten inch Billy Bob Thornton. Hey, interesting. All right. There's some facts for you. Scott Kahala says, this is the way for the big dealers to get bigger and squeeze a collector. Uh, this is wrong for the hobby. I agree. Exactly. I agree. Can't, compl can't argue with you on that. All right, guys. Um... This is going to take too long to delete. I think we're going to kick it to the curb now. We had a good time tonight. I appreciate you guys being here. And thank you. We had two new channel members that joined us, channel members of the Salvation Nation. We had, uh, we had, uh, that joined the community. Hit, they hit the join button below. We had Miyoshi do it and Gaz Grill do it. Appreciate the new channel members. And I have to shout out to, I think, my oldest channel member, and that's Donald in New Mexico. Well over a year is here. And also Highlander Stacking is either right behind him or right there with him. Both those guys have been channel members for a year. If you are interested in that, um, and I really appreciate the support, the Minted AUAG is a channel member. I appreciate you, sir. Definitely. You guys are great. And, uh, and it's at the little join button to see a little video that explains it. Appreciate you guys. A multitude of gratitude. Have a good night. Uh, take a squeezy. Don't be sleazy. And Speedin 108. Yes, Speedin 108 has been here for a year too. Thank you, Speedin 108. He is the man too. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you so much, Speedin 108. Yes, indeed. Can't forget Speedin 108. You guys are great. All right. Have a good night, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Take a squeezy.